my forever friend. Everywhere I look, I see Jesus is amazing. Everywhere I go, I know Jesus is amazing. Everybody clap your hands. Jesus is amazing. Jesus is amazing. I'm up, I'm up. friend Hayden and today I'm playing with magnets watch this isn't that amazing the magnet is so strong that it pulls the tiny pipe cleaners up the side of the bottle watch this this is even more amazing I can make the ball roll around without even touching it Playing with magnets is so fun, but my favorite thing to do with magnets is fishing. I made a fishing game to play with my friends. I have fish with paper clips on them, and I have a magnet hanging from my fishing rod. Now all I have to do is catch one. I did it! I caught one! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Are the fish biting today for you? Yes, Ollie. I've already caught one fish. Catching one fish is amazing. It's true. But I've got a story about a bunch of fish for you. Listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Oh, hi friends. I'm Justin the Mailman, and I'm so happy to see you today. I've got a story to tell you about someone who is amazing. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Here we go. So like I said, Today's true story from the Bible is about someone amazing. But first, let's practice our that's amazing face. I want you to pretend you just saw something truly incredible, wonderful, amazing. 
Yes, great job. You're going to need your That's Amazing face for the story, which starts with Jesus on the shore teaching a crowd of people about God. There were so many people, Jesus didn't have any room. So he looked out on the water, and what did he see? Well, see if you can tell me. Yes, he saw two boats. One belonged to a fisherman named Peter. It was perfect. Jesus hopped in his boat and taught the people from there. When Jesus was done, he told Peter that they should go fishing. But Peter had just tried fishing all night long and told Jesus he hadn't caught one single fish. But because Jesus told him to, he said he would try again. So they sailed back into the water and got ready to let down the nets. On the count of three, everyone yell, down they go. Ready? One, two, three, down they go. And down the nets went, deep, deep, deep in the water. And then they waited to see if they'd catch any fish. Do you see any fish in the nets? Nope, not yet. Wait, what did you say? You see a fish? There it is, I see it. Oh, and there's another one, and another one, and oh, another one, and whoa! Look at the nets. There are so many fish. They filled up one boat, and they're starting to sink from all the fish. So they called for another boat to help. And look at Peter's face. He couldn't catch anything. And now there were two boats full of fish. What face is Peter making? It's his that's amazing face. Can you all make your that's amazing face? Yes, because Jesus did something amazing that only he could do. Jesus is amazing. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me. Who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus helped Peter catch a lot of fish. It was so amazing. Hoo! Hoo! Thanks, Ollie! Goodbye to you! Hoo! Hoo! Wow! Jesus did many amazing miracles, but helping Peter catch that many fish might be my favorite. Jesus is amazing! I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it! Get it? Good! These magnets can do some pretty amazing things, but not as amazing as what Jesus can do. See you next time. Bye. Everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2.47 Everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2.47